Well, just picture this scenario, this very frightful scenario, which can happen any time in Australia with people playing in their gardens. Mummy might say to me, love, let's move this plant to another part of the garden. It's a bit hot where it was. Okay, dear. And if I'm not thinking, I come in without gloves and I come in to reach in here. Bang. What do you think is going to happen? Who's going to be the winner? Who's going to be the loser? Now that's got every mummy talking, hasn't it? Before you ever move a pot, make sure you fully understand what's hiding underneath the handle. Hi there, it's another redback spider infestation video. I've now found the fourth area where there are redback spiders in my backyard. Let's have a recap of where the redbacks have been. Warning, this video contains extremely graphic footage of very deadly spiders and a method of spider control that some people may find very disturbing. A horror infestation really started off here amongst the ornaments there and the Tonka toys on the ground. And this area is now under the control of some WD-40 except for the new grater which has been left WD-40 free. That area was very nasty for me. It's now been a full month that I have been fighting these spiders and finding more areas. The second area which is really connected to the next one I'll show you after this. There was a nasty red back living in there. And on the same day of dealing with that other pot area there, there were these tubs here and this place was totally infested with red back spiders. Between the tubs here, today looks relatively clean, but I'm pretty sure the red back spiderlings will be setting up for another monster apocalypse. This here was the third zone where I found, well, more red back egg sacs and actual red backs. I covered mummy's plants with foil and I hit it with a flamethrower. Uh, it was a, quite a nasty area indeed, and that area looks clean. Maybe you remember that that tub there had a network of redback spiderweb here, which connected into the garden. If I go up this way, oh hello Fluffy, how are you? Looking sprightly. Uh, this will set us up to our fourth redback spider area. And Fluffy's inquisitive as well. And the fourth area uh, resides around this tub here. More so if I track around this way. Mummy knows what I'm up to now. She says, please don't burn my plants. If we look down there, I don't like what I see going on down there at all. Just so we can see the web a bit easier, let me sprinkle on some Johnson's baby powder. I think one tricky part about these webs is they can be so difficult to see. Sometimes if I whiten it up, it might make it look prettier. It's going to make it smell prettier, I know. So there we go, the baby powder has really exposed that redback spider web. You can see the ramshackle nature of their design. Definitely a glovesy day today. I'll be wearing those in this and also I'll be doing something very different. I'm going to come in and try and use a chemical solution that says kills in one spray. That's the brand there. Take a look at the picture right there. Mortine's best cockroach killer patented technology. What caught my eye was the wording there, fast knockdown. That's what we want to see because I know cockroaches and spiders can sometimes seem to live on forever after you spray them. Another product that I don't mind is this one here, but it's more of a surface spray. Uh, when it comes to the crunch, I've had a lot of confidence in that product there. And what I'm really aiming for is a fast, tidy knockdown of these redback spiders. I think there's going to be multiples in this video. What I have done with the toys, as you saw earlier in the video, I used WD-40 to try and stop them from coming back. That's still unknown whether that works. Some people have said use silicon spray. There's a product like this I knew at work. It's called J-Wax. It's a release agent for moulds when you're doing moulding. Who knows? There's another thing for cooking, pure and simple, making things slippery. But I think the thing that really works and the spiders don't like is petroleum jelly. Most people would know Vaseline Petroleum Jelly, that's like a brand name one. Then there are big bulk of things like this for people who use it at work. And then you can get it basically as a no-name product as well. Now for the nasty business of getting those spiders. It always looks so innocent, doesn't it, where these spiders are? Unless you know where to look and know what to look for, uh, you can land yourself in a whole ton of trouble. I think uh, there's another one actually on that handle there. They love the handles of this pot. This pot's actually got three handles, one there. One there, which they haven't picked up on, and there's one on the other side, which they have. Let me just drag this pot out to where I want it to be so I've got control in the situation. It's quite a heavy pot. And I'm pretty sure the most effective way I've found of killing these, and it's very fast, is that flamethrower. But sometimes we've got to do things like normal people do. Or you'll say I'm a total maniac. That there is where the pot was, and under the handles, what I'll find is evidence of what they were eating. You can tell where the spiders are by the webs, but you can also tell where they are uh, from the things that they've sucked and nothing and left on the ground. 
They'll always set up their homes where they're comfortable and where there's a food source. So if you make it uncomfortable for them or take away their food source, well then they can't set up home. I'm just scratching around here to see what is living in the soil here because it'll be the stuff that they eat. I mean, they're not going to set up in places where there's no food. Well, there's a worm there. I can't see anything else major crawling up at me. That there is the pod that was next to the other major pod. It's always under these lips here where you'll see these spiders setting up, the red backs that is. Um, but I also saw a lot of ants crawling around. Uh, so hopefully the ants have done some major cleaning up for me. Uh, but the thing I don't like, and I'm going to tell mummy not to do, is put little crazy ornaments like this around because that is just the perfect little home for red back spiders. In fact, there's probably one living up here and I'd hate to, oh, I hate to think what's up there. This kills everything. running for its life. Hopefully that area is clear. I ended up finding for myself a nice set of long tweezers. Found them in the kitchen store. Let's take a look at this pot and see what I'm up against before I spray. Well I can see three red back egg sacs there before they've hatched thank goodness and I dare say up there is a female red back hiding out as well. In fact, I think that red back is just with her eggs there. She's probably a little bit tense. Something's going on. Okay, this is the other area here. This is the one where I put the baby powder on so we can see the spider web a bit easier. And looking underneath there, oh, I don't know what we have. It may have been a place where she has vacated before. There could be something up there hiding out really well. Well, we're going to come in for the kill now. I've got my gloves back on. And it must be remembered that red back spiders account for... The most spider bites in Australia, and I think you can start to understand why when you see scenarios like this. Okay, I'm going to shake this product up. Remember, we're looking for a fast kill in this. I think that's very important. And what's also important is I have no commercial connection to the people who make this product or shares in the company. I just saw it on special in Coles, and I saw a fast knockdown. That's what we're testing. Before I spray, I'll just give it a test spray to see how it sprays. Okay. There's Mrs. Red back there. Little does she know what's headed her way. Coming in for the spray and I'm going to try and not cut the camera so we can watch what goes on. Here we go. Okay, that's what I'm calling just a spray. Oh, something else ran out there. She's dropped to the ground. She's going crazy. That was a uh, something else spider. Let's just see how long it takes. Okay, you can count the seconds and I'm not cutting the camera. Okay, she's looking very slow now, but these spiders can play dead so easily. Yeah, she doesn't like it. Obviously, a bit of a stinky spray, I must admit, but if it's effective, I don't care. Okay, if you count in the seconds, those legs are starting to ball up. I'm not cutting the camera and all this. I want you to see how fast this is. And sometimes when you're up against uh, the monumental nightmare I've been up against, you want a fast kill. I've had a massive spider infestation of these. Literally lost count. She's not looking very healthy, is she? Let me come with my long tweezers. I'm just going to try and prod it because they can play dead. Uh, she's not reacting to that. Man, that was actually uh, very fast, wasn't it? I wonder what's in that chemical that killed her. Wow. Okay, remember this is not an ad for this product. I have no commercial connections. I must make that very, very clear in this video. It's worth taking a look at this in slow motion. Actually, four spiders get caught up in this one spray. I'm pretty sure there's a male redback spider caught up as well. Okay, that is the product there. From what I can see, it has done exactly as the can says. And there's Mrs. Dead Spider. Okay, Mrs. Redback Spider is down and out for the count. Uh, what else bolted when I sprayed was a wolf spider. That's the spider there. The other one that got the spray. I'm pretty sure it's a wolf spider. They like to 
land on the ground, although it might be a, a house spider or something, although it does look like a wolf spider. That's weird, it's still going. Let me get over into aluminium here and try and work out what's going on. Now that spider there, maybe we can go back on the video and you can see just how brief of spray it got. It basically jumped for its life and ran. Um, but it looks like it's not coming back to life, it looks nailed. Yes, it's got those shivering, divering legs. Uh, that's not a good sign when you're a spider. Strange with spiders, sometimes you see them living together like that, putting up with each other, but those two spiders were definitely living together. Well, apart from that female redback spider, there was of course the egg sacs. Now the $10 million question is, does that spray also knock out what's going on inside the egg sacs? Mm, I think that's very important to understand what's going on there. Look at all the critters that this spider had been killing. It's just amazing the, the amount of stuff that's pulled out of that handle. That spider has been extremely efficient at killing, I can tell you. But that's what they're designed for. Quite amazing. And also, the three egg sacs, and I'm pretty sure that darker one there would have spiderlings in it, but are they still alive? The egg sac investigation I'll do as a separate video, but let's go and blast the other handle on this tub. Before the next spray, I'll just make sure I've given it a good shake. Oh, I've just popped the top off. That wasn't a good look, was it? Oh. Okay, this is the second handle. This actually got four handles this pot. I might have said three before. I can't count. I can't spell either, you know that. Okay, here we go. Who's going to run out of here? Is it a deserted area? I think that's enough spray. It's actually soaked. Oh, I can see something up there. Okay, I don't know what that is. Now, whatever it is, it's not going to last very long. I actually like this spray. It seems to be very effective. Well, that arachnid eight-legged thing in the middle of the screen there is carked it. It's dead. I didn't see anything drop, mind you. It just might be a, a no spider zone. Sometimes I like that they move on to uh, new hunting grounds. Well, there's a lot of stuff in there. She may have been living a double life and having two homes because she was, well, so wealthy, eh? I can't see it. Yeah, I think there was definitely red back in there going from what I see there, but no spider. Even though there's no web, I'll just give that a spray as well, land underneath there. No, I can't see anything else dropping out of here. I mean, it's one of those things, a bird may have come along and got one of the spiders. So sometimes you'll find a web of no spider. It may have just become a casualty of nature, that's how nature works, and sometimes it's nice it works like that. Now, just as a worrying side note, uh, that was a tub which is sort of adjacent to that round tub we just sprayed. I can see red back spider web there. That's the web they, they like to lay. And if I move this brick here, oh God almighty, I'm over this. There's another one. Okay, that's not a small female, that's a large one. I'm so over this. I'm glad I got my long tweezers here. I'm going to come in and try and grab her. Oh, she's elusive, aren't they? She's on the ground. I'll cut the camera until I get this thing. Ah, oh, it's getting away. See how fast they can move when they want to? She's having a go at me too. Oh, got her. Okay, there she's down there. Starting to get a grip of the situation that I'm in in my backyard and how dangerous it has become. I've never ever seen it this bad. And that's why I'm really making sure everyone understands that this is a major infestation. I mean, the normal place I would expect it would be in the red back under there, but it, this is the second time now that I've found red backs between bricks. Don't think they're just like one spot. They can be anywhere. I'm coming with my new wonder spray, giving it a shake there. Let's do this. That might solve a problem for a while. Well, that thing just dropped to the ground like a lead balloon. It looks like a death throes. Okay, this spider down here, I'm going to give it a very, very brief spray of this miraculous knockdown spray, and we'll just see how long it takes to kill this spider. Here we go. I'm going to give it a one kangaroo. One kangaroo. Okay, let's see how long it takes for that spider to become a mobilizer. I'm not going to cut the camera here. I think that's very important to see. We want fast, effective killing going on. We don't want them to be scampering and running away. Okay, I can't see that spider making much distance away from where I sprayed it. It's looking like it's in a lot of trouble and it's happened extremely fast. Yeah, that's what we want to see. I don't think that spider's got much more life left in it. Although it's, I thought it had a second wind there for a second and then it's gone back into its wobbly leg sy syndrome. I think that spider is history. I'm still rolling the camera, I'm not cutting it. I want you to see how fast this works. That's what this video is all about. 
Okay, it's starting to get into that. Oh, it's coming back for another breath of life and it's come back to do its crawling legs again. I'm not disturbed by all this. I've, I've got so many of these things around. It's just super scary. I don't know how my son hasn't been bitten yet. He spends a lot of time in the garden. I think I'm going to have to drag him inside and get him back on the iPad where it's safe. I know some of you may laugh at that. <laughs> it's actually, we're trying to get him off the iPad. Hey, go and play in the garden where it's safe. <laughs> yeah, right. And I should come in with the tweezers just to make sure Mrs. Spider is actually dead and not playing dead because I have showed you in other videos how clever these spiders are at playing dead. And I'm pretty sure that spider is dead. The can said fast knockdown. Well, I absolutely concur with what the can says. I'm going to change the way this video finishes because I did apply Vaseline to the top of this pot. But I think it's best to come back in a year's time to see the result. There's no use showing you a process and then it failing on you. I'd like to be able to say to you, hey, if you do this, this and this, you're going to have a really good chance at stopping spiders from setting up in garden pots. As you can see, this video was very delayed and it's now six weeks after the time I applied the Vaseline. And I'll tell you what, there is not one spider web set up on this pot as yet, but I need a year to play out to really prove this method. So in a year's time, guess what's going to happen? We'll come back and see if any spiders are set up on that pot. I think that's a fairly good test. I know there are more red backs around, I'm sure of it. What did we learn in this video? This product here, Mortine Fast Knockdown Crawling Insect Killer, does, as the can says, very effective. I better leave this video here. As always, thanks for watching and bye for now.